Hello students today we are going to study a new chapter occupation its importance lesson number 19 from your class 4 evs textbook in this chapter you are going to study and recognize various artisans and the problems faced by working children let us begin ramanahalli is a small village the different kinds of occupation of the people of the village are shown in the pictures which occupation do these people follow basket weaving florist farmer blacksmith silk weaving cotton weaving tailoring vegetable seller potter fisherman teacher doctor policeman postman plumber driver dancer shopkeeper cashier let us now listen to a short story of an elephant and artisans panjin panjin do i drink so much of water it does not quench panjinsi brother it is very pungent please give me some sweets i don't have a table to keep the plate of sweets if you bring a table i will give you sweets please give me a table for the sweet seller i don't have a saw to cut the wood if you bring a saw i will give you the table please give me a saw to cut the wood i don't have a pot to keep the water to make the heated iron cool go and bring the pot please give me a pot brother it is not possible for me to temper the clay if you help me to temper the clay i will give you the pot friend helps the potter in tempering the clay ho ho now panjensi has gone which artisans did the elephant go elephant went near the carpenter blacksmith and potter what things did the elephant get pot saw and a table how did the elephant help the potter by tempering the clay by tempering the clay by tempering the clay dear children the person following one occupation depend on the persons following other occupations dear children now tell me who helps the tailor to stitch clothes that you wear Now, let us learn how your clothes have been made the first step in making cotton into fabric is ginning the cotton grabbed from the plants has seed in it the way towards expelling cotton seeds from cases is called ginning ginning was customarily done by hand presently machines are utilized as a part of ginning 
spinning the way toward making yarn from fiber is known as spinning the crude cotton is provided to industry as parcel or bales the crude cotton is then cleaned the cleaned cotton fibers are then brushed and fixed and changed over into a rope like structure called bit or silver weaving is depicted as between binding more often than not at right edges of two sets of strings to frame fabric carpet or different sorts of woven materials today this procedure is mechanized for large scale manufacturing then the cotton fabrics are sent to the retailer and wholesalers for selling after that we buy the cotton fabrics from the retailers then we give the fabric to the tailors for the purpose of stitching this is the way how the cloths are made from cotton did you know this even if we get ready made garments from the garment shops many people work to get them repaired there are many artisans who prepare the articles from our daily needs to the preparation of decoration things of the house handicraft is also one among these occupations Our state Karnataka is famous for carvings on sandalwood among its handicrafts. Chennapatna in Ramnagar district Karnataka state is famous for dolls and toys carved out of wood. Other than elders many children are engaged in many occupations. Do you know any problems that are faced by a working child? The working children are facing many problems. All over the world children are being exploited through child labor. They suffer from various health issues. There is work that put children at risk of death, injury or disease. Worst forms include slavery. trafficking sexual exploitation children do not get education also engaging the children below the age of 14 in work is a punishable offense it is the responsibility of all to make the children of this age to get compulsory education The government of Karnataka has established residential schools and rehabilitation centers in every district for the education and development of the working children aged between 6 to 14 years.